Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the end of January, which I actually can't believe, and I really mean it with this month because I always dread January, just because I always feel like it's the longest month ever. It's almost a five week month, like three days off of it. Nothing really happens in January, it's just kind of a blah month, and especially because my baby is due mid-February, I was like, oh, I have to get through all of January first, but it honestly, flew in. It was the fastest month ever, maybe because I'm pre-filming lots for when she comes so that I can have time off. It made it go by a little bit faster. I don't really know, but I am excited because there's a bunch of things here that I've been loving and I want to talk about, so let's just get right into the video. I'm going to start off with skincare. This is the cleanser that I have been using. It's the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. This cleanser is actually pretty well loved here in the UK. I have never heard of it before moving over here and one of Patty's roommates before we were married always was using this and I was always curious about it and then I only purchased it like a couple months ago. It is now finished. It comes with two muslin cloths but I just use it with a fresh cloth once those ones are a little bit too dirty to reuse. To be honest, in the last couple of months I haven't been wearing too much makeup but this takes off every single bit of it. I don't feel like I have to go in with a second cleanse. Whereas normally the other cleansers, which are oil cleansers, I would always go in with a double cleanse. Um, some people think you need to take off your makeup with like a micellar water first and then go in with a cleanser, but this is specifically to take off your makeup and then you can go in with another cleanser if you want. So that's what I do, I just take off my makeup with this and then do the rest of my skincare um, products afterwards. I'll link my skincare video that I just recently filmed so that you can see it, but genuinely really really enjoyed this product i kind of want to buy it again i just love it so much it's so affordable so i don't know let me know your favorite cleanser down below um because i might venture out and buy a new one but i really genuinely loved this one next is kind of like a primer you guys know i don't like primers i don't know why I've tried the silicone based ones, the non silicone based ones, they just don't work for my skin. I feel like if anything I can see my makeup more whenever I wear a primer. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I prefer to wear like more of a hydrating glossy um, product underneath my foundation. But this facial spray from Too Faced, it is the Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I guess you can use it as a setting spray or afterwards. Um, yeah, my skin just really loves it. I always feel like my makeup goes on really smoothly whenever I start with this. Plus it smells like coconut, so you can't really go wrong with that. Um, I have not even gone through half of this and it lasts forever. You only need a couple spritz, but it's just really hydrating and refreshing. I'm kind of tempted to put this in my hospital bag whenever I go into labor just because I feel like it would be really hydrating and refreshing. Let me know um, if you've gone into labor and you brought a facial spray if that was beneficial to you. Some people say they really like that, so I might pack this one in my hospital bag. Sticking with the whole facial spray theme here, I have loved this Skindinavia, Skindinavia? Yes, yeah, Skindinavia, um, the makeup finishing spray. You guys have seen this in a couple of my tutorials. This is what I use to set my makeup. Yes, you can use the Too Faced one to set it, but I feel like this one just gives a little bit more hold to my makeup, especially because I've been using so many cream products lately and so many hydrating products. I definitely want to make sure that my makeup is not slip sliding away throughout the day and this definitely does the job. It keeps it in place and um, there's really no scent to it. It's a fine, well it says fine mist, oil free and paraben free. A lot of people love this stuff. I think it's really good and it does keep your makeup on which is why I love it. This next product is definitely my secret weapon to achieve that beautiful bronzy glow. This and the next product, these next two products are my secret weapon at the moment. But whenever I do a self tan at the moment, I only do it on my chest and my arms just because, well, I'm not wearing any crop tops at the moment, that's for sure. And I can't really like bend over and like tan my legs. I just don't have that mobility anymore. So it's genuinely just my arms and my chest. And I never self tan my face just because I find I just, I don't know, I feel like it dries out my skin, it looks like I have a whole bunch of blackheads, and it just never, I don't know, my face doesn't react well to body self-tanners, even if it says face and body, it just never works well. So the face mist tanner that I use is the Garnier Ombre Soleil No Streaks Bronzer Self-Tanning Dry Mist. I swear by this stuff. This is like my third bottle. I'm obsessed with it. It is so affordable. I buy it at Boots here in the UK, and... 
Man, I get the color Intense, which seems intense, but it definitely does not go too dark overnight. So what I do is just do my normal skincare routine at night, and then I just spray it all over my face, wake up in the morning, and it looks like I just came home from the Bahamas. Like, it is so good. It doesn't sit in my pores or my fine lines. It doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't look orangey. It doesn't look streaky. It is the best facial tanner ever. Like, I swear by this stuff, and I always tell all my friends what I use because... I genuinely love this stuff so much. So normally whenever I have a fresh tan, I'll use it a couple nights in a row to kind of achieve the darkness. But whenever it's fading, I'll use it every two nights just to kind of keep up with it. But yeah, this stuff is so good. It's super affordable, so it's definitely worth trying. This next product, I don't think I've raved about it enough, which is definitely sarcastic because you guys know I'm obsessed with it. It is the By Terry CC Cellular Rose Serum, and it's in the shade Sunny Flash. It is a darker shade, but it's not um, like a covering product, like it doesn't give any coverage to your face. It just gives a bronzy glow. You guys have seen me apply it many a time, so you know what it looks like. It just gives such a healthy, dewy, fresh, radiant look to your skin. I love this stuff. This is all I wear. I'm only wearing it today with a little bit of concealer and then the rest of whatever makeup I'm wearing. I don't wear foundation. This is genuinely what I've been wearing all over my face, especially if I have a tan. When I don't have a tan, I'll put on a little bit of a foundation just because I don't have a lighter shade in this. I don't want you guys to think they're like a foundation or a CC cream or a BB cream. Like it's a serum. Like it's genuinely just for radiance or color correcting. So it just gives the appearance um, of a glowier, healthier looking complexion. So this one is the bronzier one. I think there's like a pearlized one, maybe an apricot kind of one. So I want to try one of the lighter shades for when I have no tan on at all because this is amazing. It's great, but I don't think I can get away with it if I have like literally no tan on my skin because then it just looks like my face has gone on vacation but my body has stayed here in Northern Ireland so um yeah I guess let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of the lighter shades um I've only heard one review and they didn't like it as much as Sunny Flash so maybe I should just try it out myself and see but very curious because I love this stuff. Sticking to a glowy theme, this highlighter by Jouer has been my go-to for the last couple of weeks. It is in the shade Skinny Dip. It is a very beautiful, very pigmented gold color. I love it. I'm wearing it today all over my face. I feel like it's very complimentary on the skin. Even if I have no color or tan on my face, I still feel like I can get away with rocking this highlighter. It's not too pigmented in the way where sometimes highlighters, you can see the undertone of it so much rather than um, the highlight effect. So it kind of looks muddy in the highlighter areas, if you know what I mean. This just gives such a nice glossy golden hue to your face and it's not overly pigmented where you're seeing the color of the highlighter, you're seeing more of the glow of the highlighter, if that makes sense. But yeah, you can just see it on my face at this moment, but I have been loving it. I also wear it in my inner corner of my eyes just to brighten up the look and open up my eyes a little bit more. But yeah, I've been using this non-stop lately and has anyone ever even gone through a highlighter? I feel like that is impossible to do because you use such a small amount and you get so much in a pan. So I don't know if I'll ever hit pan on any of my highlighters. I don't think I have in any of them, but this one is amazing. Next are two lip liners. I have been going back and forth with these two. Very similar shades and one is high end and one is a drugstore. So pretty good dupe. My high end one is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Liner. Oh. I love this stuff. I love Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I have two of those and they're a great everyday your lip but better kind of color. But this one has a little bit more um, depth to it but it still goes with most lip colors, especially the colors that I like to wear. I love the consistency of Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. They have more of a waxy consistency so I feel like they stay on your lips longer throughout the day and they don't let your lipstick bleed where some that are um, more pencil-y, hmm, how am I phrasing this, like drier, more of like a chalky finish I feel like they can rub off faster and then it can look like a hot mess especially if you're wearing a darker lipstick these will make sure to keep your lipstick contained to your lips because of that waxy finish I love them I love this shade it has definitely been a go-to for me lately okay moving on to the drugstore dupe version in my opinion is this Revlon color stay in the shade nude Again, it has more of a waxy consistency, so it's going to do the same job as the Charlotte Tilbury one, but obviously it's a lot more affordable. It's a little bit different in color, but not drastically. Like, it still has, like, the same undertone. Great affordable version. Beautiful. It just it just stays on all day, and I love wearing this with a lighter nude pinky color or even a mauve color. 
the sun is coming out, so sorry about the color change in the video, now it's going back down. But yeah, these two lip liners have been on rotation for the last couple of weeks. Okay, on to my final favorite of the month. It is a brush, it's from Sigma, it is the Duo Fiber F50 brush. I have been loving this for my powder bronzer, I've been using the Too Faced Milk Soleil bronzer, and this is amazing for just blending out the powders. It doesn't get muddy looking at all, I feel like it just looks really effortless on my skin. As you can see, I'm wearing it today with this brush. I prefer this style of brush with bronzer. I've used like smaller, denser ones for more of a precise contour bronze, but I don't know, I always come back to this style of brush and this one has been amazing. The quality of Sigma brushes are just so good. I have a bunch that I use and I love them all. I think they're just really well made and they perform really well, but this one in particular for bronzer has been, oh, I just love this so much. So if you're looking for a new bronzer brush, I highly recommend this one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my January favorites. Let me know what your favorites have been in the comments down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.